हेलो रॉन माय नेम इज रविंद्र एंड आई वेलकम यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर सीइंग हाउ टू क्रिएट आवर फर्स्ट कोड ऐप सी द ऑल द प्री रिक्वेज नीडेड फॉर दिस वीडियो देन एनेबलिंग ऑफ द कोड ऐप्स इन द पावर ऐप्स देन वील क्रिएट वन कोड ऐप रन दैट इन आवर लोकली एज वेल एज डिप्लॉय दैट टू द पावर ऐप्स एनवायरमेंट एज so we will refer this document while creating it so let's go for the prerequisite what prerequisite is needed so first we need the visual studio code so this link of this document is available in the description box okay from there you can go and use this description to follow all the steps so here we are on the vs studio code okay according to your window size okay or the mac you can download so i already downloaded let's i open that for you vs code so in this type of interface you will see okay then second tab is node js okay we'll go to the new tab and download the latest node js version or you can run this script as well so you will get the node version So simply by click on here you will you can download then we have the git okay so by just simply going here you can download the git as well for the windows for now it's not needed okay and then we need the power app cli so in the vs code okay you have to go to the extensions and search for the power power platform tool okay so this you have to install okay i already installed so this tool you need to install in your vs code so this all the setup we have done the last setup we have to do enable the code apps in the power apps environment so let's i go to the mac dot power apps from mac dot power apps we have to click on the gear icon i need to navigate to the admin center in the admin center i am using the new interface so going to the manage and selecting my environment here sanika environment then going to the settings in the environment then product then we need to go to features so friends in the settings you are in features now so just scroll it down so here after scrolling a little bit you will see power apps code apps this is preview feature so you need to enable this and then just click on the save so already enable let's go to document what is next step so then our all the prerequisites are done now we need to open the power shell okay so let's i open the power shell here you can simply search in your window power shell in each computer it is present so no need to install this or no need to do anything so what we need to do we just need to copy this command okay git clone http github.com microsoft power apps code apps dot git so i just copied let's use this and just click on the end so what this command is basically doing it is cloning the entire repository in our local system okay so now let's we go and let's go to this directory okay cd is used to change the path and this is our folder name power apps code apps so let's i enter so this is our path now c folder okay in that we are user hp power apps code so let's i go to my file explorer okay and in file explorer this pc in this pc let's i go to the c in that users okay then i'm going to the hp and in hp here you can see code apps power apps code apps let's i open this and if i open the power shell here okay can you open so we are on the correct path c users hp power apps code apps so now what the next step then we need to go to the one more directory that is cd sample hello okay so let's see this in the first file explorer okay so let's we go to the sample in the samples we have three samples fluent sample hello world and 
static asset tracker so let's we go for the hello world okay now let's go to the powershell one more time and run this command cd sample hello world means we are changing the path from the going one more step deep in the sample hello world so you can see our path is not changed and we are in the new path that is power x code as sample hello world. in this path we are present okay now let's see what is the next step so we need to authenticate our environment so we have one command for there okay so let's like copy this first opening the notepad and in the notepad i pasting the url okay pack auth create environment and this much i just simply selecting and going to my power apps environment here so I am in my power apps environment Saniga. Let's click on the developer resource. Let's copy this environment ID and simply paste it here. So this is our command pack auth create environment name and just simply go to the PowerShell and paste the command here. So now here you will receive one error pack is not recognized as name of cdm ld function script file or operable program so if you receive this type of error you have to go to your vs code okay in the wheel and created as well so let's go to now just click on this action okay open the folder so we need to open the same folder that we got so let's we go here c okay in the c we are going to users hp in the hp we are going to power apps code apps in the code app sample and in sample we are having the hello so let's open this so here you can see we have entire file okay a set the all the images are stored here okay the css of our code okay it's present here so i will explain this everything to you okay let's first see let's go to the demo first okay and then we will understand what these files mean okay what it stands for and everything so let's i click one more time new terminal so i'm in the hello world so i will run that same command one more time okay pack auth create let's click on the enter This step you need to perform first okay in the folder but we are performing second time no problem now we are in the correct path let's go to our document so our app project is ready okay so this is our project hello world if you make some changes here okay like we will see do the changes after some time let's first pack this okay so for that purpose we need to run npm install okay so in the vs code let's we run this comma npm install let's click on the enter so my npm is installing okay this command only run after okay whenever node is installed in your system okay in that case it will run only So node is installing so friends you can see our node is installed okay now we have to go to the one more time and just use this command okay pad code in it okay display name hello world let's run the command one more time just change the single code to double code and the our.configuration.json file is created 
now let's go to our block one more time okay so we need to run it locally so for the running locally we have this command npm run dev pack code run so let's use this command So it is not copied previously let's we copy and let's run this command npm run dev pack code in it so you can test the app locally by using follow link so let's we open the following link let's click on the open so friends you can see our app is loading okay the name with hello world it is switching and you can see power platform i love code so if i go to the app.txt file okay let's i go to the app.txt file and let's change it here some of the things okay so let's we scroll it down scroll it down and here let's we say Ravindra code apps. Okay, let's click on save. So let's go to the app.txt file and here let's I change the name okay from power platform to the Ravindra Jado okay and let's click on the save so we save okay the local host let's see so here you can see ravindra zado low code apps we successfully changed okay so our app is ready and we run that locally so now we need to push that code okay to the our environment so let's we go to the one more time new terminal okay and let's run the command npm run build pack code push so our enter application is not built yet okay so we are pushing that to the so friends uh, if you run the two commands together in that case we receive the error so what i have done i run the single command only okay so if you see pack code first let's we go scroll so we run the npm run build command okay then our solution is builded okay all the files will created and then at the end we use pack code push command to push our application to the environment so let's go to the our make.powerapps environment so here i am in the make.powerapps environment let's go to the my apps and here you can see hello world is new applications created with the type code okay i cannot able to edit this application i can only play this if i click on the play icon for application you can see hello world it is ravindra dado low code app it's built it so now let's go to the details 
So in the details, you can see the same information and the license type is premium here. Okay. And version control, you will also get with this application and the connection flows is present. So those will also display here. So that's all friends about that's all friends about code app in next video we see some more detailed information in the code app so please stay tuned and please subscribe to our channel thank you have a nice day to you bye, -bye.